wall products. Uh, basically, it's a water repellent for untreated masonry. Um, again, you've got that situation where the, the moisture leaches in. With our product, we're gonna, it's a, a Teflon, it's a loxane mixture. We're gonna coat the walls and we'll penetrate part way in. Uh, but the building is still allowed to breathe, which is what brick is supposed to do. It's supposed to breathe. You don't want to seal it uh, if you don't you can avoid it. Uh, with our product, uh, the brick still breathes, but you're going to get some penetration, so the water's going to actually hit it and run down. We're literally going to change the surface tension of the wall so that the moisture's not going to penetrate. It's going to hit it, it's going to run down and roll off. Uh, but it does not change the appearance of the brick itself. Um, here you can see the efflorescence, that's where the, the, the lime is leaching out of the brick and the mortar. Um, when you treat it with clear guard plus, typically this is going to be eliminated. Uh, if you have this situation to begin with, you've got to clean that off first before you apply our product. Uh, but it's, um, it's environmentally safe. It goes on with a simple backpack sprayer. It's no big deal. You just pump up the sprayer and you just spray it. Two coats, wet on wet. You go one direction, you come back the other direction before it dries. And the reason you want to do that is, um, and you start at the bottom and work up. If you start at the top, it's going to run down. By the time you work your way down, it will set up and it'll repel itself before you get to it. So you start at the bottom and work your way up. You just flood the wall with the material. Is it a sealer or is it actually a coating? It's a coating, it's a repellent, it's not a sealer. Because the brick will breathe, but it's a, a repellent, so the water will hit it and run off the wall, it won't penetrate the wall. But if there's moisture in that brick uh, beforehand, it can still breathe and come out. Right, but you're not saying that we can use that to flash with it, they're still gonna have to flash the chimney and then right. treat the brick. Right. Okay. What you would do is you'd flash the bottom of your chimney, right. if you're still having problems, then you, you put this on the rest of the chimney. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, it's plant safe in that it will not harm the plants. You don't have to cover the plants. Uh, it's, it's environmentally friendly that way. Uh, it's not etching, so it won't etch the glass if you've got windows, but I'm going to warn you, if you've got windows, cover the windows. Because if you get it on the windows, it won't hurt the glass, but it won't come off too easily. It's like cleaning off a hard water stain off of a window. It's tough to clean off, so cover the windows and save yourself a lot of them. Um, we do recommend